morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful fall day today. It is about 72 degrees. The sun is shining. Only a few clouds in the sky, but it is an absolutely beautiful day to go play in the garlic. So won't we get out there and uh, we'll get to that footage. Okay, I'm sitting in here on the dining room floor with this giant box of garlic and I'm um, picking out the nice big heads of garlic and separating the cloves so I can get planting these. But I wanted to show you just how big some of these cloves are. They're just absolutely huge. But I still got a long way to go. Gotta get a whole bunch of these separated up so I can get planting on them today. So, yeah, those are just huge. Yeah. Anyway, I have a long way to go. So I'm going to get back to work. And uh, I'll show you in a little bit when I got this bowl about full. Okay, I have a full bowl of nice big cloves of garlic. And I have made quite a mess. Still have a giant box full of garlic. Made a big beautiful mess. Now it's time to think about heading outside and getting everything ready. So, that's who I've got. And here comes my little helper. But, I'm going to go ahead and get started heading the way to um, get this planted. So hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start getting to work on this garlic. And uh, I got this whole big full bowl, but you can see just how big these cloves are. Absolutely fabulous. But... I'm going to um, go ahead and get started on this, so I'm going to set these out of the sun for a second. Alright, um, next thing that I want to do, um, I'm going to get this bag of black cow, and I have this flower and vegetable garden soil over here, and uh, I'm going to get them spread out. And then I'm going to mix them together. And um, I'm going to put some jugs on Now one thing um, to remember is we have used these beds for garlic earlier this year. And um, it would be over, over winter that we pulled them in about June. But we would normally go ahead and put some gypsum and stuff in the dirt too. But we think that... Um, there's still plenty in there, and I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this part. But um, if you want to know the other, um, like the gypsum and stuff that, that we put in on um, these beds when we planted the garlic last year, um, you can look that video up and Mark can um, put a link to it up here somewhere if you can. And I'm just going to go ahead and quit talking and start working. So hold on and um, I'll put a little break in here and then we'll get to work.
Okay, I've got like soil down in there. I stirred it into the existing soil just a little bit. I'm going to add a few handfuls of jokes and um, then I'm going to stir it just a little bit. Okay, I've got that cheese in there a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and get my garlic out, and we're going to start planting, so hold on. Okay, I'm going to get started planting these, and uh, one thing about garlic, I know the cameras are at a high angle so I could get down here and, and uh, show you exactly what I'm doing, but you want these about an inch under the dirt. Make sure you can... Tucked in, just like that. I'm going to put them about the width of my fist apart. Snuggling down there in the dirt. And I am definitely using the biggest ones out of this bowl first. So if you see me cherry picking a bit, I am, because, yeah, you want the biggest one, so. And I'm going to put the rows, I hope you can see this good, um, I'm going to put the rows about a fist apart. Get these guys all the way down in here. The one thing I love about planting garlic, playing with it in, in any form, when you're all done, you still smell like garlic. But I won't make you sit and watch every single one. Um, I'll move the camera back a bit so that um, you just put a break in here and then um, Mark can speed it up a bit. So let me... Um, let me get one more here. Finish right where I was there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off for a second, and I'm going to move it back just a bit so you can get a better angle of, of seeing, you know, more of them going in. But, so you don't have to watch every single one in slow motion. So, hold on.
look down in here and you can see how much you got dirt is above all of those. But I got the half, this half of the bed all done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just do the other half over there real quick. And then I'm going to tease the dirt over the top of them. So hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all this garlic is all planted up. And uh, I'm just going to tease the dirt over the top of it with this rake. And uh, then I'm going to get some straw on here. And it's actually supposed to rain here for the next two days, so that'll be good for them too. It doesn't take very much. I'm going to get this raked over the top of them a bit. Okay. Now they're all nestled in, and I've got a um, bale of straw sitting over here in my cart. So I'm going to put a little break in here, and um, I'm going to get some straw. So hold on. Okay, I have a nice layer of straw on there. You don't want to put it on too thick. And make sure you get it all the way to the edges. If you want it light and airy, you don't want any matted bits of straw. Just go through and fluff it just a bit. And that will keep them happy over the winter. And that really is all there is to it. And right now, we're just doing this one bed for this year. But I did put the biggest cloves that I could find to get the biggest garlic. So, it's all done. Happy to have it in. And, um, yeah, I know we were talking about doing all four beds. But in looking at how much we got this year, we're going to just take it back just a notch for the upcoming year. So, that's what we got. And she's all done. So I'm going to get out of here, and um, I'll be back to talk to you in just a second. Okay, so that's all the footage that I have for today. And, um, yeah, it did get a little bit warm. A little bit warmer than, than I was expecting. But I also didn't put my hair up in ponytail, so that tends to get a little warm, too. I'm going to sit here in the shade. Yeah and play in all these wonderful leaves. That's the um, really big pretty maple that I showed on video the other day. But let's sit out here and play in the leaves while I talk. Yeah, because I get distracted like that. But anyway, um, we did only opt to do one bed of garlic for this year. Um, we got quite a bumper crop last year and it will last us a pretty good while. So. We decided to just go ahead and um, do one bed instead of four. But, you know, anything on a homestead, plans change at a moment's notice. Um, but, you know, in, in a week or so, if we decide we want to add more, um, we can. But as it stands right now, we're just going to have just the one bed for this year. And, yeah, I did pick the, the biggest cloves out of the the biggest heads of garlic to make sure that yeah we get even bigger garlic next year but 
I'm just sitting here talking your ear off again, so I should probably go ahead and get on out of here. Um, the boys are working in the shop today, so it did give me a little something to do, so I'm not underfoot in there asking them a million questions, because, you know, um, I do have a limit of how many questions I can ask per day. So, um, anyway, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm out um, digging something else up. <laughs> anyway, um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And all of that being said, it is a wonderfully beautiful day. The boys are working. I just got done with my project for the day. So I'm going to go hang out with them for a little while and um, see if I can't um, ask all 400 of my questions for the day. But anyway, I hope that today's video finds everybody happy, healthy, and safe. And don't forget, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.